Hello and welcome. The frog is there. River. Got this nice gun, right? Check it out. It is the EMG Cima um, MWS Noveski N4. So it's not the CGS version, it's this uh, one without the steel bolt carrier and so on. Um, it got to my workshop because my friend had some issues with it and I'll record two videos on it. They are completely not linked with the fact that the gun was converted to HPA using the HPA GBBR conversion from Frog Engineering. Of course it's a GBBR. There would be two videos in a row and the first topic not related to HPA uh, but to all MWS guns uh, in general with this kind of hop-up setting here on the top with the wheel that you scroll. First I'll take it apart to be able to show in detail. Oh, nice conversion, wonder who did it. And it's this type of hop-up setting that you have a wheel, you rotate it and you get more or less hop, right? What is wrong with this one in particular? The problem is that the wheel clicks, right? So it doesn't retain the position on its own, it would rotate during shooting, but it has a spring-loaded pin that holds it in position so it clicks and this way it doesn't move smoothly, it just, you know, jumps from one position to the other. The issue with this gun is that on one position of this wheel it shoots badly like no hop and on the other position it actually spins the BB too much, yeah? So what does it mean? It means that the difference in the hop between those two positions is actually too big, right? Of course this can be related to the hop-up chamber also, not necessarily because of the wheel, but that's a fact in all the MWS type guns that you are kind of doomed to use the positions that you have and the result that it will give you. So you have small resolution of steps in the hop-up setting, right? If you want to dial the hop like really precisely, it's not possible. I have my other gun, the L119A2 uh, from HAO, full custom build. It actually is quite lucky because there also there is this type of hop-up setting and on one position it's almost like optimal and on the next position is too much hop. But on this almost optimal position, it's okay for me, so I use it. Uh, but this modification I'm gonna do um, in this video is extremely simple and it will solve this problem for you. So what we will do is that we will replace that wheel with a custom one. Here they are, they are of course 3D printed. I'll put them aside for a second, I'll take out the original one from the gun, I'll explain how it works and what's the difference. Each MWS gun will be disassembled a bit differently, but what is important is that you need to take the barrel and the chamber out. For this you will need to remove the handguard most likely. Here in the Noveski it's uh, quite easy, uh, just a few screws here and there. Okay. And we are out. So now the barrel nut. And this can be done differently in different MWSs, but generally the mm, this the setting part is usually held by some kind of screw from the front. So here deep I have a screw. If I untighten it, it will release this part. So this is what came out. And here be a little careful because here uh, at the wheel there is this spring-loaded pin, yeah, it's pretty tiny and if you know you are not careful it can shoot out somewhere and then you will have an issue to find it, so I will first put it aside. Okay, and now how it works, basically this arm here has a very very tiny pin and this very tiny pin rides in a groove in the wheel and uh, I'll remove the wheel now, so there is this groove and one end of this groove is the maximum hop up and one is the minimum hop up yeah around the wheel in this case i have 40 teeth so i have let's say 40 presets of the hop up which i can set yeah actually it's less than this because um, the groove does not go the full circle yeah but uh, what is important is that it has some pitch so in this case the top uh, is this top groove from the middle to the middle of the hole this is 5 millimeters distance and then the bottom um, of the groove here 
uh, again from the middle of it to the middle of the uh, hole here it's three millimeters so in practice what it does is uh, work with that pin as I said and moves the arm up and down and here come my free 3D printed wheels that are published on my calls as always you can download them I, I printed them of regular PLA you want to use some hard material for it so the difference is in the height of that uh, middle of the groove on, in the maximum up and maximum down position okay so we have three options that we can choose and one is let's say the middle option uh, in the file name it says 4535 because the top groove goes to 4.5 millimeters and the bottom to 3.5 so instead of 5 millimeters away from the middle it goes to 4.5 and instead of 3 millimeters it goes to 3.5 what does it mean? it means that uh, instead of the original pitch 2 millimeters in the uh, stock wheel I have 1 millimeter pitch here yeah, between the positions of that arm so in practice what it does, it is giving me a resolution two times better than with the stock uh, wheel, yeah? And because the shift of the height of this arm, how it's driven by the mm, groove, is reduced by half, yeah? So this is one option. And the next two options are even finer than this. One is 45-40, which means 4.5 to 4 millimeters so just half millimeter this difference between maximum and minimum and there is the option 40 to 35 which also is just 0.5 millimeter difference between the uh, top and bottom position yeah so this is even like four times finer adjustment of the hop up than the stock sounds beautiful right but what's the downside so the downside is that when you limit the speech the maximum and minimum position your optimal position can be actually like outside of the range of your hop-up uh, setting, right? So the best option how to implement this would be to first set the hop as close as possible to the value that you want on the stock wheel, right? Then remove the part carefully not to move the wheel and basically see where it's set, yeah, what height it has. Uh, in this setting and then choose appropriate wheel, wheel from these three that would be just uh, you know around that value of the hop that you saw as kind of working for you and feasible uh, with the stock wheel of course that's a question how deep of course there is always a question how precise do you want to be because maybe you don't need four times finer uh, hop up uh, setting uh, maybe this two times finer is just fine for you and in my case I will use this one I know that my good hop up setting is plus minus around half of the scale on the stock wheel so it should be also in the middle of the scale on this wheel I will just have more steps uh, in between to make sure that one of them is the correct one so that's all yeah that's the whole philosophy very easily you just put this instead of the original wheel wheels turning nicely then I put the arm in the guide okay now you can see how the arm moves yeah it went down now it went up very simple and now the pin and its spring with all parts assembled you can rotate the wheel I don't know if you will hear it but you can check if it's for sure nicely clicking yeah in my case it works and then I can just slide it back into the gun and of course then uh, reattach it with that screw in the front just in case you are wondering what screw where is the screw it's there right but this is just the case of this gun so now you can put in the barrel with the barrel and the chamber be careful because now this arm has small range so you must make sure that the arm uh, counterpart on the chamber actually you know goes under that one and this is the proper alignment I don't know if you can see exactly but the arm on the regulation part should be from this view over the arm on the hop-up chamber yeah so it is now I can reassemble everything and that's it Okay, and this is my reassembled gun with the new wheel, uh, precise, fine, hop-up adjustment, all good, uh, works like it should, so hope it helps. 
subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell, let me know what you think and make the power of GBBR be with you.